friends, Dwana Olson back again. Um, hope you guys are all having an amazing Wednesday. So I am back from Costco. I did a lunch trip to Costco and hundreds of dollars later, I wanted to share with you guys um, some of the decisions that were made as far as what I'm going to put in my cart, what I'm going to leave out of my cart. Um, because I know it's a struggle, um, definitely for me when I go to Costco is I want everything that's processed and all of the snacks I did have, I did sample the, um, it's a mango uh, type of salsa over some chips. Super good. I've had it before. I acted like I didn't have it so I could have a sample. Oh yes. Let me try this new mango salsa. It looks delicious. Super delicious. So, but as I was reflecting on just all the food that we put in our cart, got back home and I thought what a perfect opportunity to share with you guys because in my journey I'm all about like educating myself and making decisions based on how I feel when I eat less than best better foods so if I eat crap food I know I'm gonna feel like crap and it sucks I'm gonna tell you right now because I do work out regularly I drink a ton of water. I found options on how to um, consume less alcohol without feeling deprived, right? I'm, I'm on LaCroix right now instead of like a tonic water or a soda. So I'm always trying to find ways to let me live a life, a normal life, but also make sure that I'm taking care of my brain and my heart. And so that's really what is was uh, driving me to do this video now is if we as a society, if we as men and women focus more on how can we eat just to feel good and not damage our heart, um, that might take the load off of, oh, how many calories does this have? Or is this going to make me fat? Or am I going to be able to fit into this after I eat this? Like if it's not always just about weight. And before I share with you guys, like what I've got going on in the kitchen, um, every Wednesday I have a team call. So the call uh, with my team today, the guest speaker really shared her heart on how she battles anxiety and depression after losing her mom. She's also suffered from migraines and a couple of other issues that are going on with her and her daughter. And ever since um, becoming a coach and ed just educating herself on better nutrition, ever since she started drinking Shakeology because of all the good nutrition that's in that product, her headaches have started to go away. She does feel less anxious during the day. And I loved how she said this because I totally related to that too. The fact that she has a career where she is actively helping others on a daily basis has helped make her issues seem a little bit less um, stressful, right? It, it diminishes what we're going through when we're actively helping other people with what they're going through, right? And encouraging them to find a healthier lifestyle and create that for themselves. So again, it's like the, the power of how to live a healthier life to me should absolutely outweigh trying to do it just for the weight loss or how many calories or is this going to fit and so on. Like it's a natural byproduct, but it shouldn't be the driving reason. It really should be how can I create a healthier life for myself? How can I have a healthier heart? How can I not lose my thought in the middle of a conversation like what's happening to me now? Um, for the past six months, like I'll be talking to someone in the middle of my conversation, I just lose my train of thought or I just start like babbling and I'm like, uh, wait, wait for it. What was I going to say? So in my research, one of the best things that you can do for brain health is dun, 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 walnuts. Walnuts are supposed to be one of the best foods to fuel your brain. Um, avocados are right up there as well. Um, I have read that they have a really healthy type of fat that um, the body processes in a, a diff different way that just helps the brain function a little bit better. Um, the other tip with walnuts is I am addicted. <coughs> Excuse me. They will give you dry mouth, so have a drink ready uh, close by. I'm addicted. My whole family's addicted. To the pre-salted nuts and going back to just being healthy, the pre-salted nuts is not good for gut health. It adds extra sodium. For, so for those of you who are already tr trying to watch your sodium, pre-salted nuts are not the way to go. They don't taste as good. I'm with you. It sucks. But I will tell you that your palate does change over time. So they taste a little bit less um, gross and you do start to get accustomed to it. So walnuts are huge. Um, just for sanity, I picked these up. Um, these are the Belvita. I've gotten these before, but I've never tried this flavor. So this flavor is banana nut, uh, 200 calories per biscuit. I call them biscuit. Um, it tastes like a cookie. They're, it, they're super good. So I, instead of doing like a granola bar for the kids for their snack, <coughs> excuse me again, they're going to try these. So I tried these and they're really good. And I stopped myself at just one. So super proud about that. And then we're going to the oven. <coughs> so I'm also doing the spaghetti squash once again. I grab a drink, like I am literally dying here. 
spaghetti squash once again. So the oven is on 425 approximately. Um, I cut them in half and then I put, just put them face down. And then I'm going to eat that with the salmon. So Costco always has great pricing on salmon. <clears throat> For those of you who haven't watched my video before, um, what I love on my salmon is I just take it out of the package, throw it on some uh, tin foil, and I season it with this. It's so good. Uh, zesty lemon pepper seasoning salt. Just sprinkle a little bit all over the top, and I pop it in, and that's all I do. And then we'll um, add fresh lemon uh, once we're ready to eat. We'll serve it with quinoa or brown rice. We've got that brown rice going. And then in the crock pot for either later tonight or for tomorrow, um, chicken. And what I do is I top it with salsa. It's so good. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So I top it with salsa, a little bit of olive oil, um, and that just makes a really, really good meal. I'm trying to flip it back for me and my family and my kids. And then again, I feel really proud that we are giving ourselves really good nutrition, but bigger than that, like um, I am deterring my body going through any major um, health issues with my heart and I'm helping it just fuel my brain um, a little bit better as well. The salmon is also supposed to be really, really good, not just for heart health, but also it's got that healthy fat that we need in our brain. So remember like that big fad, like in the 90s was everything was fat free. So, I mean, you do it, you look up anything now and it'll tell you how bad that is for our bodies, right? Is because, you know, you're depleting, your body needs fat, especially when it comes to how our brain works and um, preventing Alzheimer's and dementia and all that stuff. Like it's fascinating, some of the studies that have been shown, but it's amazing how as a society we got so caught up in, oh, this is how to best lose weight that we forgot about. Well, wait a minute, we're, we're missing the bigger picture. The bigger picture is how to live a healthier life and keep our organs functioning, at, you know, at their, at their best. So... Uh, last thing I'll leave you with is to remember your water, guys. When it comes to like our heart and just living healthy, um, most people do not get anywhere near the amount of water that um, they should. And it's also great for your skin and your hair and all that stuff. So um, what I tell the girls in my challenge groups is to aim for half their body weight in ounces of water every day, um, which is great because as you lose weight or gain weight, your need for water intake will increase. And that's also true for um, if you're sedentary lifestyle versus when you start working out, you obviously are going to need a little bit more water. So going for half your body weight, it's just a good, um, it's a good way to just get started and have a way to track how much water you're drinking. Yes, you're going to have to go to the bathroom a little bit more, but look at it this way. I mean, you're peeing out all the, the toxins and stuff that would have normally stayed stuck inside your body. So that's not good either. Um, thanks for letting me share guys. I hope that helps someone, um, motivate someone to make healthier choices for a different reason versus just trying to lose weight or to make it fit. Take care. I'll talk to you guys soon.